The A-90 Orleonok, Eagled, was a Soviet transport assault Ekrana plan developed as part of an ambitious and largely unmatched program to exploit the wing and ground effect for military purposes. It represented a hybrid between an aircraft and a ship, combining aviation speed with naval flexibility and amphibious capability. Work on Ekrana plans in the USSR began in the early 1960s under Rostislav Yevgenievich Alexeyev, head of the Central Hydrofoil Design Bureau in Gorky, now Nizhny Novgorod. While conventional aviation regarded ground effect as a dangerous phenomenon during landing, Soviet engineers recognized its potential to dramatically increase lift, reduce fuel consumption, and enable high-speed movement just meters above water. Early research and experimental models culminated in the gigantic KM, Caspian Monster, which proved the concept viable and encouraged further development. The Orleonok originated as a medium-class transport and landing Ekrana plan, intended to rapidly deploy naval infantry across long distances while remaining difficult to detect by radar. Its immediate prototype was the SM-6, a piloted half-scale test vehicle built between 1966 and 1970. The SM-6 validated key solutions, power augmented takeoff using jet exhaust blown under the wing, hydro skis for water operations, and limited amphibious mobility. The full-scale A-90 Orleonok, Project 904, first flew in 1972. It was a three-engine, low-wing Ekranoplan with a T-tail and a boat-shaped hull. Two NK-84K turbojet engines in the nose provided lift augmentation during takeoff by directing exhaust under the wing, while a powerful NK-12MK turboprop mounted on the tail powered cruise flight. The wing was optimized for ground effect, featuring a short span, low aspect ratio, large flaps, and wingtip floats. The entire nose section, including cockpit and jet engines, could swing open to the side, allowing rapid loading through folding ramps. The cargo bay could carry up to 200 to 250 troops, or 20 tons of equipment, including armored vehicles. The Orleonok cruised at around 306 to 400 kilometers per hour to 224 to 49 miles per hour, had a range of 500 kilometers, 932 miles, and could operate in seas with two meter waves. It could also briefly climb out of ground effect, reaching altitudes of up to several hundred meters, though handling became difficult. A serious accident in 1975, when the tail section broke off due to structural fatigue, demonstrated the Ekranoplan's survivability, but led to major redesigns and to Alexeyev's removal as chief designer. The hull material was changed to a more durable aluminum-magnesium alloy, AMG-61. Despite this setback, the Orleonok was officially accepted into Soviet Navy service in November 1979. Only three operational Orleonoks, S-21, S-25, and S-26, were completed along with test articles. They served with the 11th Independent Aviation Group of the Soviet Navy on the Caspian Sea, participating in exercises that demonstrated rapid amphibious landings. Ambitious plans for large-scale production were canceled in the mid-1980s after the death of Defense Minister Dmitry Ustinov, a key supporter of the program. By the early 1990s, funding shortages and accidents led to the program's end. One Orleonok was lost in 1992, another scrapped, and the last surviving example, S-26, was preserved and installed at the Russian Navy Museum in Moscow in 2008. Today, the A-90 Orleonok remains a unique example of Soviet engineering, a bold attempt to redefine naval mobility using physics that few other nations pursued on such a scale.